Wee man. Oh. Guys, I started at 9.30 this morning and it is now 7.06. A lot of work was done today. But you guys saw that uh, laying down the carbonized PN, just like throwing it on the ground and trying to spread it out with the, the, uh, the leveling rake uh, wasn't working out too well. So spreading it out kind of like how you spread out seed and stuff uh, ended up working. But just took a little longer. But, um, of course, if you had a top dressing machine, it'd be a much better. Let me flip the camera around and show you guys how everything looks now. I uh, made a little bit of uh, track marks with the, uh, the Club Cadet uh, lawnmower. Hopefully, uh, we'll get that taken care of when we uh, get the sand down tomorrow. But overall, we're getting close. Getting close to being done. Top dressing... It is halfway completed now. Now that we got the uh, carbonized PN in, I spread a little bit more by hand out here. I need to rake this up, get this uh, kind of flattened out, spread it out a little bit. And uh, I guess tonight I need to lay my turf flex and Nutrizol now. And if you noticed, uh, the grass is actually starting to grow up now. So I need to hurry and get this thing done. Otherwise, uh, I'll be top dressing over a tall, tall grass. If you look over here, remember I mowed at 0.3. Now it looks, it looks literally like at 0 0.4, 0 0.5 now. I see a lot more green than I did early, uh, before. On but yeah, we're about 80% uh, complete now. Last part is the top dressing with the sand. Get it over here. I'm hoping this is 8 yards. Looks a lot less than last year. But we'll find out. Because last year we were able to cover up the whole front yard and have some left over. So we'll see if we have any left over by the time we get everything uh, all top dust. But like I said, yeah, I need to lay down my uh, Turf, Turf Flex Nutri-Draw. That's like the last thing to do as far as uh, fertilizer. And all the other stuff that needs to go down in the lawn. Good thing I waited. But I'm a, I think I might rake it a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and lay down Turf Plex and Nutrizol. Not needing to video that part. You guys already seen me do it. So I'm just going to tell you guys that that's what I'm going to do tonight. And then we'll pick up tomorrow morning. And start filming again. Doing the sand. But anyways, signing out. Alrighty, good morning. Sunday morning, 10 about 10 a.m. right now. Today's the day. I'm gonna lay down top dress with sand. And it's very, very humid today. Jeez. The Turf Flex Nutrizolve, I did that last night in the dark. Um, you guys don't need to see that because you've already seen it. So, yeah, that's just a recap of what went on yesterday. So, I lay down a ton of products and then uh, top dress it with carbonized PN. And, um, Today's the sand. It's the last day. Let me show you guys what everything, how everything looks like now. So you can see a little, a little bit of chunks of carbonized PN still kind of sitting there. But for the most part, they're all into the soil. Uh, turns out I was using, I only used one bag over here. Um, I thought I needed two, but one bag was enough to cover, uh, to spread out and cover here. I got less than a thousand square foot now because of the sand pile in the way. So that kind of reduces the amount of product. So I put more over here. If you take a look, you see how, how dark everything looks here. That's a lot of carbonized PN right there. Show you some over here. Yeah, so I got it pretty good. I got it in pretty good. Uh, let's go over center line. So grass is growing already. This I can tell everything's getting fuzzy now. So. I wish I had been able to have done this uh, right after the scalp, but it wasn't possible. I don't know if I told you guys, but I had to wait till the afternoon, around roughly around 3 p.m., to go get the aerator machine and rent it. Hopefully that the ground was uh, dry enough to at least aerate, and that's how that's how it went down. So you see here, you can kind of see how muddy it was, right? These are all the track marks, the holes, and everything. That the core aerator did 
jacked up a little bit on the boundary line of the neighbor's yard. Uh, but yeah, I'm stepping on this right now. It's still kind of soft, but sand's going to go down regardless, no matter what. But this is it, guys. I'm going to put it down. I got this rock out, finally. I'm meaning to get that out. So yeah, let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead and get this thing started. I'm going to use the uh, computer tractor and start loading piles on the center lawn and then start spreading it out. Let's do this. Alright, I'm already sweating. It's freaking humid today. Whew, how many pies do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 piles. This should be, this should do it. Let's see how this goes. Man, I'm already tired just dragging the, the wagon toward the middle to load those three piles right there. So, yep, casting it with a shovel now. This is where the hard work and the fun stuff starts happening. And then we'll move on to the other sections of the yard, but I think I do have eight yards. These guys on Bermuda Lawn Dominator's Facebook group telling me I only have four yards, but there's no way. Um, I'm pretty sure I've got eight, <laughs> or if not, pretty damn close. But. keep on going it's very humid today <sighs> oh man it was supposed to rain at like 8 p.m. I need to get the whole yard done today oh. I promise you guys this is gonna be the last time I manually do this it's definitely top dressing machine here on out I'm not doing it this way anymore <sighs> My shirt's all completely soaked. It's like stuck to my body. <sighs> I'm having to take a break like every two piles or one and a half piles. I'm trying not to use my back very much. So I'm like bending my knees a lot, you know, getting in a squat position and then throwing, uh, casting the sand out. So I'm trying to save my body from injury, but this is a tough, this is the toughest part to achieve a golf course line. You gotta make some sacrifices and I'm not willing to make those sacrifices anymore <laughs> top dressing machine next time for sure if I do this again oh man
came in 20, about 23 minutes earlier. I said seven o'clock was gonna rain and here it is. Luckily, uh, we were able to get majority of the stuff done. It's a little bumpy over here. I couldn't get it smoothed out like how I wanted it. Now here it is. We got rid of the pile, fortunately, which is a good thing. But now uh, we're just getting wet. Everything's getting rained in now. So we'll just have to see how everything goes. Hopefully it'll die out in a few hours and uh, maybe I can rake this in tomorrow morning. Uh, before it happens again, I don't know. But it, there it is, guys. Sand leveling 2024 semi completed. Check that out right there. Alrighty. Keep you guys updated. The aftermath got I didn't I forgot to put the rain gauge out and I'm assuming we got probably a quarter inch um, you see some of this sand got washed out so it was enough to move the sand and wash out and unfortunately I wasn't able to fully level this area you can see like how I got some ruts going on right here I gotta wait for it to dry up so I can uh, break all this up and smooth this out hopefully by tomorrow um, check the forecast I think uh, it's gonna rain tomorrow evening Monday evening so I have a chance tomorrow midday to come out here and rake some of the sand uh, big pile big thick layer over there I'm gonna shovel that and start putting it over here because these are the areas I want to fix fairly low let me show you See how the concrete is a bit higher than the grass? That's basically what I'm trying to take care of right there. So I want to be able to get that higher than the concrete so that I can drive my uh, Toro's Green Master rear drum over it. It's been a pain having to go around the edges, perimeter, and not being able to hang off the side a little bit over the concrete. That's my goal. I kind of, I really wanted to get the, the whole yard higher than the concrete, but I'm not sure if that's going to really happen this year. You see, I stuck a lot of sand, but the water had uh, washed it away. So now I think we're back to square one, where the the grass is a 
at least the the yard part of it, the the level surface of it is uh, lower than concrete. I might be able to rake that side back toward the concrete after everything dries up. I'm gonna give that a shot. But yeah, it needs to quit raining, man. It's raining way too much. We've had rain every week since April. And this, it's been pretty heavy too. I mean, we've been getting 1.3 inches, 1.4 inches, 1.5 inches. I think at one point, uh, north, uh, north of me got like five or six inches of rain. And Houston's gotten a lot of rain, so. Yeah, we've been getting hit with rain a lot this year, which is good for the lawn, but at the same time, introduces fungus and a lot of other things we have to take care of. So, yeah, that's I'm calling it a wrap tonight, guys. Nothing much left for me to do other than wait for everything to dry up and try to smooth everything out. And uh, not everything went as expected, but hopefully... Uh, after everything grows back, um, we're going to have a nice smooth golf course lawn for 2024. But we got to wait and see. We're not quite there yet. All right, guys. All right, it's been a few days since the sand leveling. What's today? Tuesday? And we did it on Sunday. I actually came back out here yesterday evening and raked up some stuff. Um, just trying to loosen up the sand and fill in more areas that didn't get uh, quite filled up. Let me flip the camera around and show you guys. So you see a lot more green now. Grass is starting to go through aggressively. I did turn on irrigation on last night. Uh, we happened to not get any rain, like it was forecasted to happen. So I had to turn on irrigation. And I just did a, a little small one, basically five minutes uh, per zone. And uh, that was enough to get the, the ground soaked. Let's lower down the camera here and see if we can see anything. Anything that looks kind of level or not. Adjust the camera a little bit. From what I see right now, um, oh, it's kind of deceiving with the grass kind of poking through. So it makes me think, you know, some spots are bumpy and some spots are, are lower. But I do plan on, uh, I'm gonna write this uh, tonight. Uh, once it gets dark, uh, once the sun sets a little bit more, I'm going to try to smooth this out some more. It's recommended that you uh, rake the lawn every day um, to push the sand around, keep it, to keep, uh, keep it flat, keep it going flat, and then you water it in um, in the evening. Uh, last year, I watered it frequently, which I'm not too sure. It might have helped. I mean, maybe I kind of overdid it. But I was uh, watering it like three times throughout the day. I would do the evening and I would do one in the morning and one midday and then repeat the process again the next following day. So you can see some really heavy spots here. Um, this area, the sprinklers on running for five minutes had already started, uh, the water had already started flowing off. So I think I've got a slope kind of going now on this part of the yard. Not sure if that's a good thing or not because i initially wanted everything completely flat but at the same time you know with the water all coming out from that gutter over there um, it does cause a pool of water in the corner of the, the foundation in the house right there and water is not able to really escape it kind of just builds up a valley and then kind of drains down in these holes these uh controlled sprinkler control holes and this area actually lost a lot of uh, uh, structure when I was mowing. Every time I come a, come to the spot, I would, you know, the mower would dip down and kind of get stuck. So I'm gonna have to kind of rake this section up again to make sure that I can get this uh, much more flatter. Temperatures have been uh, today has been 93. It's been hot. It's been a hot day and a windy day. So yeah, I think we're done for rain. From what I can see so far in the forecast, nothing is expected for the rest of this week. Uh, definitely gonna have to start running irrigation to get this grass to kind of uh, pick up and grow. Let's take a look over here. I got some heavies. I put a lot of sand over here. So this is gonna take a while to kind of grow. Let me show you. 
this section right here. See how I, I, I piled that up? Because I really wanted, this section was actually kind of low. It's been getting eroded uh, from all the heavy rain we were getting this year. So I had to rebuild that up with the sand. Hopefully that structure holds. Um, if we don't get heavy rain uh, for the rain, remaining part of the growth, uh, that structure should hold. I might try to rake this little section here. This was a low part of the yard here. Um, you can kind of see where I went heavy on a lot of the sand spots here. And this is just from going by memory, um, paying attention to where all the where all the, the pools of water were settling when we got those heavy amounts of rain uh, during the past few weeks. So I was trying to focus on those areas and hit, hit, hit it with heavy sand. So that's basically what you're seeing right now is heavy sand in those um, little dip pool areas. But still, um, if you leave it like this and you don't wreck it, it eventually is going to just make the surrounding areas kind of lower. So you got to kind of, you still have to rake it and smooth it out to make sure everything's flat. And then this section here was the unfortunate section that weren't able to finish the uh, leveling before the rain hit us on Sunday. So I did come out yesterday. Uh, I had a landscape rake. It's not the leveling rake, but the landscape rake and try to pull in on some of that wet sand to loosen it up to get it dry and then use the leveling rake to smooth it out. Um, I may do the same thing tonight. Uh, it shouldn't be wet anymore. We didn't, uh, nothing should be wet. It doesn't seem like anything's wet. Everything looks all dried up now. So I will try to rake it some more and see what happens. See if I can pull some of that sand up here. This is considered day two, day three. Um, of the lawn leveling. Like I said, I think uh, we'll be fully back to normal by the end of June. July 4th is the target date for me to make this lawn immaculate. And I think we'll get there by July 4th. Everything should be fully grown by then. I'll be real mowing again. Everything should be nice and flat. The grass should be the greenest it will ever look for the season. And it should be nice, it should be great should be domination all right stay tuned guys i'll keep you guys updated in the next following days